What's going on guys? Joe from Total Justice Gaming here. I want to thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave some comments. I love interacting with everybody and always happy to do so. Today we are going to be looking at a frill deck. Uh, I'm going to be very transparent about this. I am not a frill player. This is the first time I've built a frill deck. The deck is not even uh, meant for me. This is a deck to see if my little sister, who's returning from abroad, would like to join the game. She was an avid Sailor Moon fan back in, when we were younger. I want to see if she wants to get into this, so I built this deck. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, the buddy is Valkyrie Fro. The reason why it's Valkyrie Fro is because of her errata. Uh, for those that are not aware of it, the errata is... When this card is discarded from your hand, you gain a life. Uh, the errata is when a card on your field is returned from your feet. When a card on your field is returned from your field to your hand for this turn, a card gets plus 1,000 power, plus 1,000 defense. As opposed to what's actually printed when it says this card is returned. So it's when a card, not this card. So that's why I decided to make it the buddy. So we'll move right on into it. So, naturally, as it's the buddy, we are going to be running four copies of Valkyrie Frill. Um, she lets us give a power bonus, 1,000, uh, 1,000, which is pretty okay. Um, there are some tricks that means that other cards are going to be able to hit numbers. Uh, on top of this, uh, with the way the deck works, she's actually going to be closer to around a 6,000 opposed to a 2,000, meaning she will be able to hit numbers. Uh, if we have any discard effects that we can use, we can use, uh, we can pitch her, and then uh, we gain a life should we do it. But uh, right now she starts our size zero buddy that gives a small power boost whenever something pops back to hand. So we're running four of her. Following that, we are running Uniform Warrior Dr. Frill. Uh, Dr. Frill is a 3-2-1 is a three two one, with the ability of when this card is destroyed or returned to your hand, destroy a size 2 or less monster in your opponent's field and gain a life. So when she bounces or is popped, uh, we get to blow up something on their field and gain a life. Truthfully, I would have made her the buddy, but I was only able to grab get three of them. Hopefully, one of my friends is getting in some more boxes this weekend. So I may change her to the buddy over Valkyrie Frill. We'll just see how it goes. But right now, I'm running her at a three of. We're running one copy of uh, Sister Frill. Uh, she is a 3-2-3. Three, three. Uh, her call cost is pay one gauge. If you are transformed into a card, give that card 1,000 power and plus one crit. Uh, this lets us hit numbers in, on our item, which we will transform into. Uh, and the additional crit is always a blessing. Uh, it makes them much, much more deadly and able to... Uh, harass the opponent with a higher crit, making them waste shields as opposed to wasting shields on a, another attack, or just making giving you that little extra push to push for game. We're only running one copy of her right now. I'm kind of flip flopping between her and Police Frill. Uh, it's kind of touch and go, but right now I'm settling for Sister Frill, and we're going to see how it goes. Uh, next up, we are running. Probably one of the only other non frill cards. We're running three copy of Skies of uh, Princess of Azure Skies Q. Uh, gotta read her. Uh, she is a 2 1 1 size 0 that says one who reigns in the sky when an item on your field attacks. Gain a life, draw a card, and the item gets 3,000 power. Her ability only activates once per turn. She is huge. She goes in just about any deck you want to put her in in Hero World. Uh, or even let, or even Dungeon World because of their multi-attacking things. You can splash her into Knights and uh, just have a ridiculous amount of draw and uh, power advantage. But she's going in Frill because Frill's uh, transform monster that I chose uh, is a little different. Uh, he needs a little bit of help to get there, and Sky Prince is going to help that out. Plus, she institutes uh, draw and some life gain. Which we really want in this deck because it's just superheroes are just like superheroes. They're glass cannons in terms of defense, so the smaller defense needs to be made up for with a lot of life gain, which we do have. 
uh, so far in these first three cards. So we'll move right along. Now, uh, a lot of people are going to be running Mass Vantage. I've seen Overlord, uh, Captain Answer Overlord. Uh, I actually decided to run with G-Force. Uh, G-Force is a bit of a quandary. I know a lot of people are going to be asking about this. Uh, why did I go with G-Force? Uh, G-Force is a low costing transform with pay life and pay gauge. We have a lot of life gain in the deck already, so we can make up for that life loss pretty easily. Uh, all monsters on the field, on your opponent's field, cannot move and cannot be returned to hand, so this is very helpful should you get into a mirror match against another field deck, meaning all their bounce abilities are negated because he prevents them from returning to hand or people with magical goodbye and 72 pillar or just anything that likes to retreat back to your hand uh, you shut that down and you shut move down uh, so this is also a good choice against a Thunder Knights matchup um, if you are transformed into this card your opponent uh, uh, all cards on your opponent's field also get minus 2,000 offense. So this means we are essentially giving our cards plus 2,000 power against the opponent's defense, or however which way you want to look at it. I always look at it as the net gain as opposed to the loss you're, po you're putting on to your opponent. Uh, the other reason why I'm not running Mass Vantage, other than the fact that it's sold out everywhere I've looked, is we really don't need it too much because of Wrath of the Maiden Frill does what um, Mass Vantage does. Uh, so we can maintain him uh, on the field uh, because he won't bounce back to hand. And he does give a nice spread of lower defense on, on the opponents, making it easier for you to get your uh, damage through by limiting monsters easier. So we're running four copies. He is our transform monster. We are also running two copies of... Uh... Mass Vantage uh, Midnight. So let me read him real quick. So he's our size 3 transform. 725, so he's got good stats. Uh, counter, when a superhero is destroyed, I can transform into by paying the transform cost. When you transform into, put one superhero from your drop zone into your hand. Uh, at, until the, at the end of your turn, return this to your hand and transform. Uh, you can... Uh, to transform into him, we pay two gauge, return up to one item from your field to your hand. So when we need to get a bigger butt, or we can, uh, we need to swap out for a uh, better attack uh, for the next turn, we can swap uh, G-Force into uh, Midnight. We can get some minor recursion back from the deck, uh, possibly a frill that we need that was in our gauge. We paid for the gauge. It lets us go and get them th get some back to our hand to use it. So we're running two copies of him. Next up, we're running four copies of Wrath of the Maiden Blazer Frill. Uh, she is a 2-6-3-3. Three, three. Really good in terms of stats. Of the three crit, running four of her. I just got to read her off. Um, call cost, put a superhero on your field in this card, soul and pay a gauge. All cards on your field get plus 2,000 power. At the end of a battle, that a superhero on your field attack, you may return that card uh, from the field to your hand. So she initiates all the bounce effects that we get uh, whenever they attack, so we always have a good hand uh, going into our next turn. We pair her up with uh, G-Force that pretty much gives all cards on the field a plus 4,000 power, meaning everyone can hit ridiculous numbers. Um, she also like kind of mitigates the need for mass advantage because she institute instigates the uh, bounce effects to put stuff back to the hand so you can play them next turn. And a lot of our stuff in this deck is not very gauge heavy. I kind of went out of my way to make it not as gauge consuming as the other uh, as the initial version of uh, the Fro deck. So we're going to see how this goes around. Uh, we are definitely running her out of four of because she is one of the key cards in the deck. Moving right along, we're running two copies of Uniform Warrior of Darkness, Garter Fro. Uh, she is a 621. Uh, one Another card on your field is return to your hand. You may return this card to your from the field to your hand. 
during an at during an attack phase, when this card is leaves the field, deal one damage to the opponent. So you can just pop her down real quick. Um, if you don't have another size two on the field, <laughs> she also makes up for just uh, maiden real quickly with some decent stats. Uh, whenever anything bounces back to hand uh, by transforming or anything or uh, other frill or just any sort of bounce mechanic that we can get a hold of, uh, she'll come back to the hand too and then burn the opponent just for leaving. So she gets good numbers. She uh, can come back to hand rather easily and she uh, burns. So I'm running her out of two up right now. Following that, we have Shiny Mobile Uniform Warrior Jewelry Frill, running Karate 2 of. Uh, she's another size 0. Uh, she is a 2 one which is okay, it's a size 0. Uh, during the attack phase, when this card leaves the field, uh, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and gain a life. Monsters on your opponent's feet, monsters on your opponent's center get minus 2,000 power, 2,000 offense. Uh, she just further boosts up... Um, the attacks of everybody else by negating power and defense on, or negging power and defense on the opponent's field. Um, she also just lets me gauge and gain a life, much like all the other frills, uh, lower lower size frills do. So we're running her out of two of. Next up, we got three copies, four copies of Racer Frill. Uh, she is a two two one. Uh, when this card enters the field, if you have another superhero and on the field, you draw a card. She is our primary draw ability. She's the one we're going to be bouncing back to the most with Racer Frill, with Wrath Frill. So we swing, put her in, draw a card, swing, bounce her back, uh, get to be able to draw another card next turn. Or just drop her, drop another copy of her, since she is a size 1. Uh, and we have a lot of size zeros and a size two, so she'll be able to come back to hand and see a lot of plays. So we're running her out of four of, because she is one of our primary draw engines. Next up, we have familiar plits. Uh, we're running plits out of four of. So it's a two one two. Uh, call cost is pay gauge. When this card enters the field, uh, search your deck for up to one superheroine or bandage warrior mass vanish and put it in your hand. So this is our primary surge for any frill in the deck. Uh, let's us be able to uh, get just any frill we need. More than likely we're going to be searching blaze, uh, wrath frill or racer frill or um, our buddy or doctor frill. We just have a lot of targets we can go through and this lets us get it very easily so we're running inside of four of Moving into our spells, we got Sailor Barrier. Uh, this is our superheroine. Uh, barrier, superheroine shield. You may only cast this if you have a superheroine on the field. Counter speed. Choose one of the ability. Uh, choose one of the following two abilities. Uh, during this attack, during an attack on your opponent's turn, nullify the attack. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's closed, open, link. Just flat out nullify the attack. Uh, very, very good. Uh, choose a superhero on your field, and for this turn, the next time it would be, uh, it would be destroyed, uh, it remains on the field, so it's a Dragoborn, or a, I've seen through your, Dragobond, or I've seen through your moves, uh, on the card. We just get to choose, very versatile, really like it. Moving along, we got four copies of Tears Don't Suit a Maiden. Tears Don't Serve Maiden is also a dual choice card. You can choose two of the following. Uh, its first ability is not counter speed. You gain a life, but a superhero inferior drops them back to your hand. The second one is a counter speed, and it get, it's the plus three plus three counter attack for superheroes. So we're running for that because it lets us give us recursion or counter attack. Following this, we have It's Here, the New Equipment, as opposed to It's Here, the New Suit. Uh, counter, choose a superhero in battle, and for this turn, give it plus 2,000 power, plus 2,000 defense, and if you're transformed into it, it gets a uh, 
gets an additional 4,000 power, 4,000 defense. So I, this is just like it's here in the new suit. It helps Stonewall attacks to your item. Uh, our item is either going to be uh, Midnight, which is 5, meaning it's going to go to 11, or uh, G-Force, meaning it could potentially also go to 11. So walling a good majority of the opposing forces, so we are definitely playing three of that. Following this up, we are running three copies of... Uh, hyper energy. The deck is not super dependent on gauge, but I still want to get gauge as much as possible. Um, the I built this to mitigate um, the need for gauge, but we do still need, just not an overabundance like we do. But hyper energy is still needed in this deck nonetheless. So we're running this out of three of. Uh, we are also running one copy of So the Dream I Had Went. So if we go for game, they try to shield, we can negate the shield. Always a good card, utility card in any of the Hero World decks. And finally, two copies of Military Launcher. Uh, you can only play this if you have a superhero on your field, pay a gauge, destroy a monster on your opponent's field, and deal damage to the opponent. Uh, we're running two copies of this because it's a non-size restricted death grip that also burns the opponent. So you're getting your bang for a buck just for one gauge. So we're running it out of two of. Guys, that's it for my Frill deck. I hope you like it. I honestly, again, I don't have a lot of experience with Frill. I would love comments on how to improve this. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. Please remember, like, subscribe, leave comments. I'd love to hear from everybody.